What's good guys? I'm back with another video and today I want to talk to you all about how you can use your DSLR camera and hook it up straight to your Streamlabs OBS or your OBS Studio, Stream Elements, whatever you want to call it. Guys, stick around. We're going to jump into the details and we'll talk a little more about how you can actually hook up your streaming and uh, take a little few steps up the chart there and make everything look 10 times nicer than what it is. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm Trippy Mail Mail for the guys that don't know me or gals, either one out there. There's about 50% of you all that watch my channel and you're not even subscribed to my channel. So, hey, now's the chance to hit that subscribe button. Join up with the Trippy gang. Also, if this content is helpful to you in any type of way, please don't forget to hit that uh, like button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Or if you just want to support the Trippy gang, the views and everything does help out and means the world to us. All right, so let's talk about DSLR probably thinking what is dslr but before we get started i want to say this i promised you all 2021 was going to be different it is because we're going to add a lot more content to the channel but please keep in mind i'm not going to stop anything different than what i was doing as far as in my older content because i'm still going to do ps5 xbox all of that no matter what we'll ride this journey out like i promise doesn't matter if it's till 2025 and there's still one person down on the chart that didn't get one still going to be there to help you no matter what that's a promise also i want to uh kind of change this uh, channel up just a little bit my wife is getting a new youtube channel so it should be out like later on tonight or tomorrow and uh she'll be doing random stuff uh also more on the girly side possibly she's got a new video coming out about a cool laser hair straightener that you can set down anywhere stick it in your pocket whatever but it'll turn out to be the best straightener you've ever seen in your life the best curling iron whatever it is you need it to be that thing will pimp out the hair so don't miss that video coming up soon also the whole point of me doing videos like this guys is i want to be very helpful this year throughout 2020 so i want to focus more on helping people by doing videos like this i want to you know throw content out there that yeah there may be 10,000 other videos out there but i still want to add it to my channel because you know what the trippy gang is absolutely amazing i got one heck of a supporting group and you know what there may be just one little thing out there that maybe you're looking for or someone else stumbles across you know the channel and they had no idea but they're like oh my god i never knew i could do this so now i can so guys i just want to be very helpful this year and let's dive in dslr all right guys there's a little bit of difference in dslr okay so let's talk about it a dslr is a camera okay so let's say it like this this is a dslr all right and this here is just a sony like a dx80 or i don't know it's like a dx something i don't really remember it's a power shot camera so anyway uh let's turn it on here so you can see this one here is actually my wife's uh new vlogging camera so as you see that you know you can flip it down and watch yourself see how it does work you know there we go just trying to get it to where you can see i was waving but uh anyways so you can take a camera like this put a memory card in it and, uh, of course, you can walk around vlogging, doing whatever it is, you know, you do. All right. That is not a mirrorless camera. Let me show you a mirrorless camera. This is about a $700 camera. This camera here is the Sony Alpha 6000. Now, you know, you could look up. Sometimes you can get them, you know, on sale. Amazon might cut you a deal. Uh, right now, they're about... 650 680 at best buy so they're close to 700 dollars, but they're very expensive um you do got to have a lens with it so these are the lens they pop on and off and uh, you can literally get a uh, different you know size lens to put on it so if you like the longer ones you're more into like photography you're not into streaming and all that these are still perfect um they got like a little metal clipping down at the bottom as you can see uh let me move let me move this for you guys if you look straight down to the bottom, you see like the little gold pins at the bottom. So that's actually where uh, it's going to match up to when you put the lens on. Now, if I try to turn this on, it will not work without the lens because that's perfectly normal. But this is mirrorless to where, you know, you don't got all of that going around to where, you know what I'm saying, it picks up all these like weird shadows and all that. So these are really amazing cameras. Are they expensive? Yes, like I said. Are they worth it? Yes absolutely worth it okay so i'm gonna throw uh this back on there 
let you guys take a look. All right, you got to make sure we get it on there straight. So when you're filming or like streaming, you can literally turn this and it does the zoom in and zoom out. All right, so let's turn it on. All right, there we go. So as you see, it comes out and like I said, you can get it to where the, you know, the lens are a lot longer. My battery is about to die on this one, but now this right here does not tilt all the way up so you can see yourself. It does have the uh, tilt action. I don't know what button I pushed, but there we go. The battery just died. It's okay. But anyways, it does have the tilt action to where, you know, you can tilt it up and then you can just kind of slide it back in there and uh, make it normal. So, uh, like I said, this is the Alpha 6000. Now, what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how you can take a regular uh, Sony camera and a mirrorless Sony camera. So, they're both by Sony. And you can use any other kind of camera. Like, uh, for example, you can use cameras like these. But let me tell you the difference with this. You would have to take your uh, regular uh, USB adapter plug-in. And you would have to go USB straight, you know, into uh, the PC. That way you can get power from the PC. There's a Sony app uh, that, or you know, like you can scan the little barcode that pops up. There's a Sony app that you can get, that you can download, and you can use this, you know, pretty much as your webcam and just kind of hook it up and it comes straight on. Now this camera is absolutely amazing. It's very bright, as you can see. And, you know, most people think, ah, oh, you know, it's not that bad or whatever. This is about a $200 camera. It's a sport camera that's on the market to this day. This is uh, the XP uh, Waterproof. Uh, it's made by uh, Fujifilm. I guess that's how they say it. But anyway, it's a 16 uh, megapixel. Absolutely amazing. Now, the difference between that is instead of like this one. Now, this one here, of course, you can plug it straight in USB. Do it the same way through the app. You can also do the Sony Alpha 6000 the same way. Or you can actually go out on the market. And I would recommend going to like Best Buy somewhere. And you can literally perch this. Uh, let me get all this together here. I apologize for not already having it together. You can literally go out. And now this right here is going to cost you, if I had to guess, I would say somewhere around... Um, like $129. This is an Elgato Cam Link, okay? So this is a 4K Cam Link. So it's going to pick up all your 4K, you know, it's going to, you know, you'll still be able to run at like all your high, you know, frame rates and everything that you want to run at. Nothing's going to change. It actually turns out to be a lot better as far as device if you actually get this. All right. So what you're going to do is you're literally going to take you know it comes with this cable here and it also comes with just the cam link so you're going to get these two together in a box all right then you're going to have to while you're there at best buy or the store you buy this at you're going to have to purchase your actual uh mini hdmi display cable which looks like this and it kind of looks like the older chargers you know that were like squared off i don't really know what they call them to this day on the other end it has a regular hdmi all right so what you're going to do is you're going to take this end of the cam link literally has an hdmi plug-in you're going to plug it in this end is going to plug into your camera all right let's see if we can find where it goes here all right it's going to go this side all right, so you're going to have two different plugins on usually on a camera, and if you'll look, one of them is your regular um, USB, and the other one is going to be a mini HDMI, and that's going to be the HDMI that's going to be your regular charging cable. All right, so we're going to plug it in your mini HDMI. Now, if you'll look, you won't be able to see it probably on here, but if you'll look at the little casing, it's going to literally say HDMI. Let's see. I don't know if I could turn it. You can see how it's kind of engraved. But anyway, it's going to say like uh, HDMI and then probably USB. Let's see. What's it say? Uh, it says uh, HDMI and multi. So it's going to be your multimedia plug-in. Anyways, so whenever you get this plugged in, let's see if it'll actually come on. I don't know if it'll come on without me plugging it to the back, but we're going to see. I'm going to actually plug it into my uh, 
little place right here. All right, let me uh, actually uh, change the battery real quick because uh, it is dead. That way we can get it to come on. Um, guys, you can actually get uh, any type of like a little uh, media card to put in it. That way you can save everything on it. And it's actually going to go on the inside right there where the battery is. Now, something I want to talk to you guys about whenever it comes to streaming from one of these cameras as your regular camera. All right, let me grab a battery. All right, so let me throw the battery in here. The difference between this is you would have to buy something called a dummy battery. A dummy battery is, of course, it's got the same, it looks just like your battery. It's going to plug in there. We got a little spot right there that the cable's going to uh, come out of. There's going to be a cable looks like this. It's going to come off. It's going to plug into a power pack. Then it's going to plug straight electricity into the wall. All right. So when that happens, it actually, the power uh, box that's on it, the little power supply, that's where all your juice and your power is coming from. The little piece that goes up in there that looks just like your battery, if you move it like this, you can literally sling it up and down. It's an empty box that looks identical to a battery pack. It's just got a cable on it. So what it does is it tricks the camera into believing that there's actual juice coming from that battery, but there's not. It's got little metal prongs on it so the power can travel through that box into your camera. And it's going to keep your battery running at 100% at all times. Reason being you need this is instead of running you know, your battery, could you run your battery? Yes. Is it bad for your camera? Absolutely. It could cause your camera to burn out. Those are things you don't want to happen. So you got to be very careful with it. All right, so we got 10% left on this battery. I got to charge my batteries. All right, so we got it plugged in. Let's see if it'll work from here. Like I said, you have to plug your cam link. Anything by Elgato has to be plugged into a 3.0 USB device, like your computer and all that. If it's not a 3.0, it will not power it because the cables made by Elgato, they literally look for power coming from a 3.0 device. All right, let's go see. All right, guys, so I'm just going to shrink up my camera here. All right, so it is not picking up. All right, so what we're going to do is, give me just a second. I'm literally going to plug this in to the back of my PC, all right? We're going to get it to where it does work. All right, guys. So whenever you plug up your... Um, 4k cam link if you really want to know like hey is it oh it's working is it actually working it's got a clear light on the front it'll light up clear if it lights up red just like an elgato capture card then you're going to know there's an error all right so let's turn this back off let's turn it back on all right and as you see this is everything that you would actually see on a camera. There's my monitor. There's my OBS that I'm recording from. See, there it is. Here's my iPad, my microphone, myself. All right, guys, let's make it bigger. Now, I wanna show you guys the difference between this DSLR that's re I'm really up close to my face, huh? Apologize about that, guys. That's one good thing about these cameras. They do pick up. All right. Now, I literally want to take this camera, and I want to show you guys something. All right. I want you to see how this one right here on the right, which is going to be, all right, I'm just going to, let me swap views, okay? All right, so I want you to see how this one up here, as you can see my fingers coming straight to it, it's going to be on the right. I want you to see how bright that is. Can you see that it's a lot brighter? That's because it's literally picking up off of my face, 
Okay, the monitor is. The monitor is so bright that it's got a glare off my face, so it makes the camera, you know what I'm saying, a lot brighter than what it is. I do not like that because I don't want the camera to be so bright. Does that make sense? All right, now let's take a look at this one. Let's put it right below it. Let's compare them. Mm, excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. Let's compare them. Can you tell the difference? That is a normal looking camera compared to one that's very bright and got colors added to it. It's kind of cool, huh? Such big difference. I like this one. Now, look, okay, here's another example. Look at my Elgato Nano Leafs on the wall. Now, this one here with this camera right here, that's how they should look. They should pick up to normal colors where you're able to see what colors they are instead of them being so bright that, hey, you can tell the lights on, but you're not getting the actual color from them. So, guys, look at this. That's the actual color of the lights. Can you see the difference between the light behind me? So, that's the difference in if you use a DSLR camera. Now, I can run this straight to my computer from, you know, a, the regular USB into the multimedia plug-in to USB on my computer using the Sony app. I don't want to do that because why? Because I don't want to download all that crap on my computer. Now, something that you would have to do is, of course, when you get this, you would have to uh, automatically take your cam link, go to Elgato. All right, so we're just going to close out the 4K camera. We're going to bring this one over here. All right, I'm just going to put that right there. All right, as you see, we're on Elgato's um, website. So you can just go up here to the top, and you can just look for whatever it is until you find your picture, which is going to be under Capture. And here you've got all your capture cards and all that. You've got, you know, HD60 Pro, 4K60 Pro, all that. You're going to get to Cam Link 4K. You would click on it, okay? There it is. Now you can shop. You can go down and see it shows you right here. Of course, you know, you plug it into your computer. And that's what you get. So it's kind of cool. Now, you do not have to use the extension that comes with it. If you have a laptop or a way that you can just plug it straight in without bending the USB on it, then hey, look here. You can use it. You can plug it into a GoPro. You can plug it into a camera recorder. Or you can plug it into a mirrorless camera like they have here with the lens on it, just like I have right here. See? There it is. Moving on down, there it is once again. He's showing that he's got his uh, HDMI mini cable right there and he's got it plugged into his computer and he's got like see youtube mixer uh he's got skype he's got twitch obs he's got everything all right it's a plug and produce and right here it says um uh, coupled with cam link 4k your camera appears as a webcam in all your favorite apps um suburb quality at 1080p 60 frames per second or even up to 4k at 30 frames per second keeps your stream professional and it does guys ultra low latency technology gets you up and running on your uh, favorite platform in no time and your camera has never felt more powerful totally true check it out random frank p is one of the guys if you don't know who he is of course he's sponsored i guess by elgato he's showing you right here this is what a cam or a regular webcam looks like how it's got that yellow look just like mine did that i showed you a minute ago where it's so bright and then all of a sudden his face clears up and it looks like a normal camera compared to you know dslr and all that so like like it is right here you can plug the cam link straight into the back of the computer and run it to the cable or you can use the extension that comes with it in my case i would like to use the extension because i don't want to plug it in with the rest of my wires in the back and cause it to bend and like this dude here he's got the same camera we're using right now which is the sony alpha 6000 right there he's got it in silver and he's got it sitting up on his little tripod and hey he's ready to go guys i uh i have ordered uh an elgato multi uh, media mount thing uh whatever it's called it actually holds your camera. It melts up beside of my Elgato um, key light, whatever it's called. Anyways, uh, my key light will make the light stand out. See, like right now, I'm kind of in a dark area. But look at my camera. 
Now, don't get me wrong. You see some like little flashiness going on? Like, look at my hand. Do you see how it's doing that? All of that will change. All you do is go into your settings and fix your camera up to where it doesn't do all that little jumpiness and all that. So that's perfectly normal. That's just stuff you got to set up, and I've not went into the settings to do it yet. Anyways, guys, so if you want to pick this up, it comes in a box. looks just like this, smaller version. Let's see how much it is. I'm going to give you the exact same price because I really don't remember. $129. I was right. So $129, and if you want extra light to make it look better, you can get it for, uh, you can get the key light for $129. Now, if you go over to Best Buy, you can, like, perfectly buy this same thing for $117. So it just depends. You know what I'm saying? You can look it up, find it cheaper. Maybe be able to get it on Amazon a little bit cheaper. Anyways, I wanted to drop that off to you. So hopefully that was able to help you guys out. Um, I always want to be here to help you guys. And uh, I got more content coming. We got a lot of great things we're about to give up. Uh, or not give up. <laughs> a lot of great things we're about to give away right here on the channel. So don't miss out on it. We got another PS5, another Xbox Series X. We've also got some iPhone 12s. We're about to do Steam cards. We're going to be buying... Um, different stuff like playstation stuff we're gonna be doing playstation 5 games we're gonna be doing call of duty code war games we got a lot of stuff so catch that video coming up next right here on the channel guys thank you all for watching if this video was helpful uh to you in any type of way i'd greatly greatly appreciate it if you would drop a thumbs up on the video and with that being said i'm trippy mail i'll catch you in the next one don't forget to like share subscribe we'll see you guys soon peace out